Welcome to another Elvis Presley Unraveled. I'm Derek Shelmerdine, author of the book Rock and Roll Unraveled. Greetings from Harrogate in the north of England. The recording session for Elvis' first song single is often cited as the dawn of rockabilly. Elvis started to sing Arthur Crudup's blues song, That's All Right, to a country and western rhythm. Guitarist Scotty Moore and bassist Bill Black picked up on this and rockabilly was born. DJ Dewey Phillips is often accredited with coining the term on air. They're rocking country music. They're rockabillies. Elvis, Scotty and Bill became the blueprint for rockabilly bands. An upright bass played with a slap technique, a strummed acoustic guitar with a lead electric guitar. (laughs) Drums were optional. The vocals were brash and confident, varying in style. Elvis liked overheated vocals in a sort of R&B style. Charlie Feathers and others preferred vocal tricks, hiccups, yelps and gulps. Echo was often then added to the recording. Lots more stories on my website, rockandrollunravel.com. And back to you, Steve, and your fabulous Mop Tops and the King show.